Ron Gaskell left Quincy when he was 20 years old in 1950 to join the U.S. Air Force. He went on to serve as what's called a flight traffic specialist for countless dignitaries in the United States and abroad. But the day JFK was assassinated is one he'll never forget. Gaskell flew with JFK and First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy to Fort Worth, Texas the night before the murder. Gaskell remembers the details before and during their flight from Fort Worth to Dallas on the morning of November 22, 1963. And that morning, President Kennedy came over to the table and telling us how he was being bored waiting for Jackie to get her stuff together so they could go out and talk to the public in front of the hotel. Gaskill says he served cookies and milk to the Kennedys on the flight to Dallas. He ended up keeping the plates used for the couple's last snack aboard Air Force One. I have them hanging up in my front room at home. Between Fort Worth and Dallas, was there any premonition at all that this something bad's getting ready to happen? No, none whatsoever. Not one thing. It was just all a happy, beautiful morning. He was very happy and always joked with you. They uh, talked and they asked questions and you know, they're just down to earth people. Gaskill was playing cards with the other flight attendants aboard Air Force One when he heard the news from the chief pilot. After they left, we knew they'd be there quite a few hours and when Colonel Swindell came up and told us he said you better break up your card game the president's been shot. I was just looking at a paper that uh, one of the flight attendants had and uh, that paper was supposed to be from the Warren Commission and the FBI report and uh, I could see three things in it. Dole and I was talking. Dole Whitehead was a flight attendant with me and we seen things that wasn't like what they had in the report. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. It was the most terrible thing that I can remember happening in my lifetime. He says these seats had to be removed from Air Force One to make room for the presidential casket, and he'll never forget Jackie Kennedy on the flight back to Washington, D.C. Jackie showed up, she had all the blood on her and she wouldn't wash it off and stood back there by the body for a little bit. She didn't say much at all except she was just bewildered. She just was almost like a mummy walking around. I never in my lifetime ever thought that I would be with the president when he was shot, when I left Quincy anyway.